Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Night Scout on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, turn it's on things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So. Let's get back to your registered programming. So I got a request uh, to add Night Scout on COS OS, and the person's name was Carlos Alberto, and they've been a, a diabetic since 2009, and they were letting me know that they wanted this added, so I tried to get it added as soon as possible, and I did the COS OS, but I wanted to bring it to more and more platforms to help more and more people out there. Um, so I can't test it because I don't have any sensors or anything like that, but I tested it all the way up to the UI and it seems like it's working to me. But if for some reason something's not working for you, um, go on the Big Bear community and start a post and let me know about the error that you got or any logs or anything like that so I can uh, try to get it fixed as soon as possible. So let's get started. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go over to search and type night. And then now you see how to install Night Scout on Portainer right here. And then you can go in the Docker and Pose. So version 3.8 of Docker and Pose file format is being used. I'm going to set some services. And then the first service underneath, uh, underneath the services is called Big Bear Night Scout. And then the name of the container is called Big Bear Night Scout. And this is so Docker doesn't have generated a random name. The image is coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no URL before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. Restart policy is set to unless stopped. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then port mappings. So 1337 is on the host side. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the container side is 1337. Do not change the container side at all. And then now environment variables right here. So the node ENV is production. The time zone, I would set this to your own time zone. And in Insker, I use HTTP is set to true. The Mongo connection to connect to the D a DB. And this is the uh, service name down there. And then um, the database. So um, now the API secret, I, I would change this and uh, to, uh, you can cha change it to your own EUID v4. Um, you will need this to log into the UI. Uh, enable features like Care Portal, Raw BG, and IOB, uh, IOB. And then the auth default roles is denied. So it depends on the Big Bear Night Scout Mongo and uh, that's right here, this service right here. And then the networks uh, for, for the container are set to Big Bear Night Scout Network. And same with this one. And then it's defined right here. So now underneath the services, uh, we see Big Bear Night Scout Mongo now. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Night Scout Mongo. And this is so Docker doesn't have to write a random name. And the image uh, right here uh, is Mongo, and that's coming off of Docker by default because there's no URL before this. And this is the Docker image tag for uh, 4.04. Uh, and then now we're going to set it in the same network so we can connect with the service name up here. And um, so volumes, so Big Bear Night Scout Mongo data, and that's a local volume that's defined down here. And on the container side is data db cached. So this is the path, and then it is cached. So network definitions down here, and that's a bridge network. And then now volumes. So we're going to name the volume so uh, Docker doesn't have to write a random name, uh, a prefix or anything. It's going to be a, this exact uh, volume name. And then driver is local. So um, now I'm going to go up here to copy raw file and then I'll click it and then I'm going to go over to my portainer and get this set up installed. So now I'm going to start on my portainer and I'm going to go to local 
and then stacks and then add stack up here and i'm gonna put a stack name of uh night uh scout stack so uh portainer stacks are just using docker and pose underneath so it is using the docker engine so i'm gonna come down here to the web editor i'm gonna paste in the docker and pose that I explained over in big bear video assets and you can change the api secret right here if you'd like um so i'm going to go ahead and deploy the stack so now it's deployed and it's set up so what th that did was it downloaded the docker image off the registry got extracted and got it up with docker Compose underneath because it's easy using the docker engine and also set up the network and the volumes so we got it set up so now i'm ssh into the server that's running um partainer so i'm going to show you where the files are located so if you use, if you cd into var lib docker and then volumes and you do ls you can see that uh it's right here so you can copy that and cd into there and now you can go into data and then now you can see all the files in mongodb so that's where your files are located so now I'm going to go over the portainer stack and the containers. So if you go on the local and then stack and then and now you can go in your stack right here. So now you see the stack up here and you can see the actions on the stack. So stop the stack, delete the stack, create tipper from the stack, stack duplication slash migration. Now if you go over this tab and the editor tab and you can edit the Docker and pose. And this is a great way to build your Docker and pose out. And then um, if for some reason developer pushed a update to a latest tag or some tag that don't change, um, but that, they keep pushing to that tag, you can go and update the stack right here, repull image and redeploy. And that means it gets the image freshly off the registry and then redeploys it. Then you just press update. So now you can go, come down here and see the containers in the stack. So Big Bear Night Scout and then Big Bear Night Scout Mongo. Um, access control down here so you can go into the first container so start stop kill restart pause resume remove recreate duplicate slash edit on the containers actions up here so the container status is down here id the name the status and then created start time and um you can see the logs inspect stats console attach you can see the access control and then create image down here. The container details, what, the image right here, the port configuration on the host is 1337. And then on the container is 1337. Um, so the command node and then lib server server.js, that's the command and then the entry point. The environment variables right here and then labels the restart policy, and if you want to change the restart policy, I would do that inside of the editor and on Docker and Pose instead of doing it right here. Um, so the network's down here. And if you go back to uh, stacks right here, I go to Not Night Scout stack and editor, and now you can come down here and you can um, change the restart policy right here if you'd like. And then um, now I'm going to go back into the containers. So Big Burn Night Scout Mongo, same thing, same actions, the container status, access control, create image, container details, the image, the command, the entry point, the environment variables, the labels, and then the restart policy, the volumes down here, and then connect the networks. So that's about the Portainers UI for stacks and containers. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in the stack and then Night Scout stack. And then I'm going to go to the editor right here, and I'm going to scroll down to the API seeker right here. I'm going to copy it because we'll need this to go into the UI. And I would recommend you changing this to something else 
because it is your password to get into the UI. So now I'm going to go to the UI. So the portainer's IP address and then 1337 as the port. So I'm going to go to it. And now this is where you put your API secret in that we copied. I'm going to paste it in. And then now you can remember this device. Uh, I wouldn't do this on a, a computer that you don't own or don't control. So now authenticate. And then now it's redirecting you to your profile editor to create a new profile. So now you've got your profile. Um, you can see the database records down here. And um, you can remove this record, clone this record, and then add new record. And then now you can see that there's two records now. And you can go down here and save. Um, so you can see the status of the save up here, success. So now you can see the home and um, you can turn on music right here. You can go over here to reports and now you can see week to week, daily stats, distribution, hourly stats, percentile chart, weekly distribution, calibrations, treatments, profiles, and loopalizer. Um, you can go over here to the profile editor again and get to that part. You can go to admin tools and you can see subjects, people, devices. You can add a new subject right here, roles. You can clean the Mongo a, da a database. So delete all the documents from device status collection, delete all documents right here. And then you can see the database contains zero documents, delete all documents. And then um, you can put number of days to keep 30, 180, 180. So clean Mongo treatments database, and then you click here. Clean Mongo entries, gl a glucose entries da a database, you can click here. Remove future items from the Mongo database, and you can remove treatments in the future. Remove entries in the future. Um, so you can see the clock view, the color, simple. Um, you can see the settings down here. So that's a little bit about the UI for Night Scout. So I just went over step by step on getting Night Scout running on Portainer. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.